I'm looking for more batters. So, batter right here. Any diamonds? Yes, we get one. Can this please be a Dodger? If this is a Dodgers, that'd be the greatest thing in the world. Two silvers, one diamond. Let's go. On the left side, we get... Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. 2018 Fireballs here, back with another MLB 9 Innings 24 video. We're here with our Dodgers team in today's video, and before I get into all the good packs that we have to open up today, I have to take a look at one of the cards that I missed from the previous video, where I covered the 2024 season opening update, and that card that I missed, or cards that I missed, were for Hideki Matsui. So here we have Hideki Matsui's Sig years. He has a 2004 and 2009 card, his 04 is left field, and his 09 is a DH card. Looking at the 04 first, he's a 71 base overall with 76 power, 75 eye, and 77 contact. And then he has a 298 batting average with 31 home runs and 162 games played. So I believe this was his rookie year, by the way, which is very impressive for a Japanese-born player to come over to the States and play in the major leagues. And at this level, he did really, really well. And then you have his 09 card where he only DH'd throughout the year. He may have played outfield a few times, but Contos decided just to give him a DH role. 66 base overall, so a much better hitting card for this year at 78 power, 74 eye, and 73 contact, 274 average, 28 home runs, and 142 games played. And of course, this was the year that the Yankees won the World Series. Now, I want to take a look at the new historic players as well. So, uh, so while we're here at the Yankees, let's start off with Mariano Rivera here and his Supreme card at an 87 overall, if you get the max GI, 72 base overall, 80 location, 78 velo, 80 fastball, 50, uh, 75 break, and 51 stamina. Now, I do think they could have given him slightly better stats. You know, Mariano Rivera being the greatest closer and all that, I believe he should have gotten a 73, 74 base card as a Supreme, just because these Supreme cards are so expensive. You want to get, like, you know, you assume you're going to get a really good card out of this, and I personally think that this card should have been at least a 73 base. But Comptowitz decided to go with a 72, which is okay, I guess. It's not the worst thing in the world, but that's what his Supreme looks like. And then his signature card here, they decided to go for the 2008 season, which is questionable in my opinion. And honestly, I, I, I kind of, you know, sympathize with Comptowitz. Mariano Rivera had a lot of years that were really good, but I personally think that they could have picked a better year. 08 was phenomenal. Um, by no means was it a bad year, but he had a lot of other years where he was top 10 in MVP voting, uh, closer to top 5 in the Cy Young voting. I believe in this year he placed top 5, but he was like 4th or 5th. In other years he placed 2nd and 3rd. And he had a lot more saves in uh, other years as well, as well as um, a lot more strikeouts. So questionable by Comp to us to give him 08 as his SIG year. They could have given him more SIGs, but I digress. Uh, Comp, to, Comp to us did what they did, and his 08 card is the, the, the year that they gave him, so it is what it is, I guess. All right, that's Mariano Rivera. Now, Eddie Murray's sig or, uh, Supreme card, excuse me, 90 base or 90 overall uh, at a perfect grade increase, 75 base overall, 82 contact, 77 power, 78 eye, and 76 fielding. Um, I don't want to judge Eddie Murray too much because I know he didn't hit a lot of 30 home run seasons. I believe he only had one in his career. So I believe these stats are justified uh, by the player that he was and the uh, overall uh, career that he had. That's the Supreme card, and then looking at the Sig here, he has a 1982 uh, card, and I believe this was the only year that he hit over 30 home runs. You guys see his stats here, 316 average, 32 homers, 151 games played, at a 72 base overall, high contact, good power, good eye, and good fielding. The next card that we'll look at is the Oakland Athletics' Dennis Eckersley, and this is where I kind of scratch my head with Com to us. Uh, so for the Supreme card they gave him, he is a 71 base, which again, like Mariano Rivera, he um, he's one of the best relief pitchers that ever played the game. Best closing pitcher, one of the best closing pitchers that ever played the game. So 72, 73, 74 would have been the range I thought they would have given him since he's a Supreme, but Comptos didn't decide to do that. Uh, good card nonetheless, though, with high velocity, location, fastball, and break. And then looking at his SIG, this is where the head scratcher comes in. They gave him the same base overall with just different distributed stats. Which kind of makes me wonder, like, what's the purpose in getting this Supreme if I can just, you know, get the SIG from a, a regular SIG pack and not have to pay for it? And, you know, it's the same base overall. 
I don't know what Comptuous was thinking when they did this, but I personally believe that they should have made his Supreme much better than his Sig. And of course, his Sig card this for this year with a 0.61 ERA is well-deserved for 71 base, but I think Comptuous could have done a lot better with the stat distribution and the overall that they gave for some of these cards. There are a few more cards that we'll look at um, of the next Historic players that they did the same thing with them. So it's just kind of weird that Comptuous did that. I believe because the Historic players are just so expensive and... You have to pay a lot of money to get them. They should have made them a lot better than they did for this uh, this group of historic players. The next one we'll look at since we're in the American League is Joe Morgan's Astros card. And this is, I believe, his earliest year card. Um, by that, I mean earliest in his career. So here he has his 1971 second base card, uh, 72 base overall. Uh, decent card, not the greatest in the world. Definitely more of a leadoff type hitter than a power hitter. Good fielding and good speed. 13 home runs, 40 stolen bases, 256 average. 160 games played and then moving on now to the national league we'll take a look at the st louis cardinals and we'll look at bob gibson here now they did the same thing for gibson as they did with eckersley a good card very very good card nonetheless 77 base overall 82 stamina 80 location 76 velocity and good fastball good break they kind of did him the same way they did babe ruth and cy young when they made the first set of historic players so uh, i don't know what to think it's a good card and good for you st louis teams and then looking at his SIG, they did a 77 base overall card, basically the exact same stats. And you know what? Me personally, I'm not going to buy the historic player packs. So I'm, you know, if I'm a Cardinals team here, my thinking is I'm better off just getting the SIG at this point. I know the historic player, you can train him to level 30 and black diamond him and it'll have higher stats than a SIG card. But what's the difference going to be really like 10 training levels could make a slight difference. But is it worth the amount of money that you pay for him? Just something to think about here. Good card nonetheless. Love that they gave him this card. And good stats. 1.12 ERA, 22-9 and nine record, 268 strikeouts. Love to see it right there. And then the next team, the Cincinnati Reds, with the Supreme Joe Morgan, which looks like this, at a 77 base. I'm surprised they gave Joe Morgan this high of an overall. I would have thought they would have done something similar to him like they did to, uh, I believe it was, it wasn't Joe, it was uh, Lou Brock. They had Lou Brock for the Cardinals in the first set and i don't think lou brock was this good base overall wise so it's kind of interesting that they decided to like really beef joe morgan here super super good card and uh i, I love it all the way through and through i just wish come to us were a bit more consistent because joe morgan didn't get as good of a or sorry not joe morgan um lou brock didn't get as good of a card as joe morgan did and then the sig card for joe morgan here is the best vintage card now available for the Cincinnati Reds, as you guys can see here. 92 overall at max grade increase. Second closest is Eric Davis. But here is his SIG. Again, same thing like they did to Gibson and Eckersley, same base overall. So I personally, if I were a Reds team, I would just go for the SIG instead of spending extra money to try and get the Supreme. But you guys can do whatever you want with your money and spend it. 77 base, basically the same stats, and he had a good year. 327 average, 17 home runs, 67 stolen bases. 146 games played then the next team and final team i believe is the san francisco giants here with the other joe morgan oh sorry almost forgot eddie murray does have a dodgers card i'll look at the dodgers right after this but joe morgan here with the giants the age 39 season for him so this is uh on par with the astros card here 72 base overall 76 base contact 69 power 79 i and then the stats 289 average 14 homers 24 stolen bases 134 games played and then eddie murray's dodgers card here is the last one that we'll look at here he is right here 1990 eddie murray near the end of his career high contact like his other cards 73 power 77 eye and low fielding and lower speed 330 average 26 home runs eight stolen bases and 155 games played so let me know what you guys think about the historic players um like i said before i'm never going to end up purchasing them because i don't think they're worth it but Give me your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. But here we are with the Dodgers team. Let's get into the good stuff. We have six signature player packs today. Uh, sorry, I clicked the wrong thing. Oh my goodness. I'm all over the place. Five SIG player packs in the inventory and one regular mileage SIG player pack. And then we also have the compensation pack that I still haven't opened up yet. We have a high chance of getting a Dodger today, so hopefully we can make that happen. Saving the Diamond Wish player pack and the Live Wish player packs as well. We'll open up this live season diamond we have four diamond player selected packs so let's see if we can pull some more primes and speaking of primes as we start off here with the silvers 
the my free agent market has been loaded and i mean loaded with diamond prime free agents in the past like three days since the update happened i've gotten at least seven i may have gotten more uh, throughout all six of my teams or seven of my teams i think i've pulled seven or eight prime diamond prime cards and i got three for my red Sox already and i know i have like one or two for a couple other teams i know one of my teams i haven't gotten any yet but the amount of diamond primes that have been dropping in the my free agent market is insane let me know what you guys think in the comment section about that i feel like it personally degrades the value of the diamond prime card now because it's like i can so easily get one out of the my free agent market now i don't really have to open up packs anymore i just have to keep refreshing every day and the chances of me pulling a diamond prime from my free agent are significantly higher than me getting a diamond prime like this is probably not a diamond prime here and it isn't it's just a regular diamond so uh, I personally think Comptoist needs to lower the rates on the My Free Agent market because uh, Diamond Prime cards, I know there's a ton of primes out now that they added all the new primes, but still, like, the value of cards in this game is changing drastically now that there are a bunch of um, Diamond Primes landing in the My Free Agent market, more Sig player packs are being handed out, and all that stuff. But uh, enough of my complaining. I'm happy that I have a lot of Diamond Primes. As we pull our second diamond right here, I believe that was 40 packs. We'll open up one more set of 10. Brandon Marsh, 2023 here, 68, uh, 63 base overall. All right, last set of 10 here. Can we get a prime or a diamond? And I don't think any of the new primes for any of my teams would benefit me in any way. I could be wrong. I'd have to recheck them. Uh, but there's a new card right there, Ryan Ludwig 08 for the St. Louis Cardinals. Very good year for him. All right, we have a lot of space in our inventory, so we should be able to roll through these. Uh, actually, we only have 30 spaces left, so let's see how much more we can get, and then we're going to do some special training. It'd be insane if I could pull an Eddie Murray Dodgers SIG. Highly unlikely, but, you know, I can always guess, and I can always uh, hope to pull one. Let's do these seven premium vintage player packs. Can we pull another legend? That'd be insane. I have a lot of legend on, legends on this team already, but no legends there. It's all silvers, and any new vintages. This uh, hurrah for the Cleveland Guardians is new. And other than that, I think everybody else is an old vintage. All right, moving on here with ultimate player packs. We have 14 of them. Let's see three diamonds out of the first set of 10. Three diamonds, calling it right here. Let's go, got it right again. I've been on a roll with ultimate player packs. I've maybe guessed one uh, wrong once. Uh, we get two Dan Verhagens, which is rare. You don't see that every day, getting two of the same diamond player. Not the same year, but that's just a crazy coincidence, I guess. 71 base overall, Max Scherzer for the Texas Rangers. Would love this on my Texas team, uh, but good cards that will be used for special training. Last four right here, no diamonds, no surprise. Not highly likely. It's only a 20% chance, I think, that you get a diamond uh, out of each pack that you open up when it's an ultimate player pack. I'm going to be saving the live player packs because there's no interesting live players right now. They all have the same basic stats. Let's do regular team selected packs for the Dodgers. Uh, can we get... Uh, hold up, let me do special training. All right, like I was saying, can we get a good Dodgers card out of these team selective packs? And can we pull a legend? Possibly. Not likely. Speaking of Dodgers legends, though, they removed Jackie Robinson from the game. And I'm pretty sad about that. I know a lot of other people express their uh, displeasure in that happening. But Comptos must have lost the rights to him to keep him in the game, which is unfortunate. Hopefully they can get him back. Uh, I've been hoping for them to get back the rights to Ted Williams. So for my Red Sox team, I can... You know get a red Sox uh, or ted williams legend for my red Sox team but uh, that hasn't been the case over the past few years and i hope that doesn't happen to jackie robinson as well also people have been talking about how the new prime cards a lot of them have different base stats distribution than their actual sig cards that have already been in the game which is weird to me I'll, uh, i'm going to express my thoughts on that right here i, I don't think that's right of come to us to do because if it's the same year they should have the ba same base stats like it does it just doesn't make any sense for them to change the base stats for the same year i, I don't know why come to us decided to do that but i hope they resolve the issue as we get two dodgers right here clayton kershaw and grinky i'm going to have to go with the uh better card here which is the kershaw just because he's the better card and that's a good group of angels right there renhifo and canning but yeah, like I said, I don't know why Comptoist is doing a lot of weird stuff. Also, I noticed that the um, put away pitch, or what is it called? It's, 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 um, what's the skill? Let me look at it for pitchers. It's 
Um, it's not kill shot. It's something else. I forgot what it's called, but if you guys know what I mean, um, kill kill shot. I, I forget what it's called. Put away pitch. I think it's put away pitch. But anyway, they didn't change the um, the description of the card like they said it would change. So that's another thing that Contuas slipped up on. And there's just been a lot of things since the update that Contuas has kind of dropped, and it's like, okay, what's going on? So I hope Contuas resolves all the issues quickly, and. Um, I hope they don't continue making like mistakes over and over again. I mean, I, I like that we get compensation for the mistakes, but it's like I'd like to play the game and not have to worry about, you know, losing a card or my skills not being right or, you know, different things like that. So a lot of crazy things have happened, to say the least, over the past few days with this game. There's a good Joe Maurer. I don't think I'm going to go for him, though, because I want to see a Diamond Prime. Let's refresh this. And no Diamond Prime, but we've gotten a Dodger every single time, which is awesome. So I'm going to keep taking these Dodgers as they come. And that's 3 for 3 for Dodgers. Can we be 4 for 4 on this last Diamond Selective player pack here? And I think all of these came either from League Mode or they came from... Um, what's it called? They came from the Stage Challenge. As we get an Ortiz 05 card. Oh man, I'd love the day to get this card on my Red Sox team. Hopefully that day comes soon. Gonna have to refresh though. Can we get a Dodger? And no, on the last one, we don't get a Dodger. We're going to go with the best overall card here. There's a good Jake Cronenworth for the Padres, and it looks like he's going to be the pick. All right, there's Cronenworth. And now moving on to Team Selective Diamond Player Packs. Let's use all three of them for the Dodgers. Can we get Prime, Legend, or Vintage? No Prime. Maybe a Vintage. Nope, we get Maeda, Peterson, and Chris Martin. All right, any good skills on these? Elite Closer and Winning Streak. If any of you guys have any insight on Elite Closer, let me know. I haven't tested it out yet, but um, from what I've kind of heard, it's it's a really, really must-have skill on your closing pitcher. All right. Now, oh, another thing. Japanese Major League or Player Pack. So now that the new Japanese players like Matsui, Ogajima, Koji Uhara, uh, Sasaki, they've all been added to the game, they are not available in the Japanese player pack. And I think that might be because this player pack came out over a year ago already. Um, and they decided not to update it. But I saved this player pack specifically so that when Comptuous adds new Japanese players, I can pick those new Japanese players and not have to be stuck with the original ones that they originally had. And again, guys, if you're wondering, this player pack came from... Um, a special login event that happened over a year ago. So if you're wondering how to get the pack, it is not available for purchase. It's not available in the game any any longer for you to obtain anywhere. I got it a long time ago already. So bottom line is it's not obtainable right now. But that's another thing. It's like I waited for Japanese players to be added and now they are. And now I can't get them. So what's the big deal? All right, enough complaining. I've complained enough in this video. Let's do sick player packs. Let's do the mileage signature player pack first. We have seven opportunities to get a Dodger and more with combos. So can we get another team Dodger? I believe uh, I don't have a great increase on this team. So if I did get a Dodger, I hope it's a, uh, a diamond. First gold card, gold sig right here. Who's it going to be? Joey Wendell 2018 for the Tampa Bay Rays, 69 base. Uh, good year for Joey Wendell. He's now playing for the Marlins, I believe, currently. No, he's I, I, I misspoke. He's on the Mets. I just remember he's on the Mets. And the only reason I know that is because of a, a new rule that MLB implemented, or not implemented, they're enforcing a new rule um, where players can't block the bases when they steal, and uh, Joey Wendell did that in spring training. But here we go, regular SIG player packs, five of them, any diamonds, no diamonds, all right, so we're going to have to either, okay, wow, five silvers, let's go. <laughs> no gold, we're going to have to in intermediate grade increase if it's a dodger, and then grade increase. Let's start off left to right. First one's going to be a Cincinnati Reds Scooter Jeanette, who was just recently added back into this game. A good year for him. He kind of fell off the face of the earth after 2019 when he signed with the Giants. I'm pretty sure it was, but uh, good for you Cincinnati teams out there. Next card on the left side, Andrew, <laughs> Andrew Miller 2015. One of the best Yankees relief pitchers. Uh, top tier closing pitcher for the Yankees too. Uh, sorry for you Yankees teams out there. Middle card is going to be another red. Cincinnati Red, Luis Castillo, 2017, his best here. With them, I am pretty sure. I could be wrong about that, though. All right, next one on the right side. Chris Sale, 2016, 73 base overall. 
another very very good starting pitcher and then finally on the far right we get a pirate jason kendall 1998 70 base overall ah could use this for my pirates team so all silvers no dodgers which is kind of sad but maybe we get lucky with this next player pack special pitcher batter pack right here i'm going to go batter because i have so many pitchers on this team uh, that are sigs i'm looking for more batters so batter right here any diamonds yes we get one can this please be a dodger if this is a dodgers that'd be the greatest thing in the world two silvers one diamond let's go on the left side we get uh hunter renfro 2022 brewers card 66 base good hitting card low fielding low speed though All right right side silver is a carlos pena 07 73 base tampa bay card and like I said, his prime is different with the base stats than it is on the SIG for whatever reason. And diamond in the middle. If this is not a Dodger, we're still going with a diamond. Please be a Dodger right here. Ah, Atlanta Brave, Austin Riley. I apologize to you Braves teams out there for pulling this card. I know a lot of you would love to have an Austin Riley on your Braves decks, but it's not the best Austin Riley, but I'll take it anyway. All right, selecting Austin Riley right here. Let's now do some combos. Okay, we have a good amount of six to combo. I'm not too sure how many we'll have in total, but I, I'm guessing it's going to be around four or five. Let's do all of our silvers first. We'll do Cots, Tekulv, and Scooter Jeanette here. Three silvers. Can we get a Dodger out of any of these? Three, two, one. Another White Sox, JJ Puts, and Ziggy, I apologize. I know you're watching this. I see you. I'm pulling a lot of White Sox cards, I know. Comment down below. <laughs> Andrew Miller, Puts, and Castillo right here. Three, two, one. We get a San Francisco, I don't know his first name, Derek Rodriguez, uh, 69 base overall. I don't even know who he's playing for now. I've just seen that card all the time, and it's like, okay, I know he exists, but I have no idea who he's playing for. All right, next three silvers, Kendall, Sale, and Rodriguez, 3, 2, 1. Cleveland Guardians, Stephen Kwan, let's take a look at that card right there. 69 base, not a good hitting card, for power that is, but good leadoff, good contact hitter. Um, not going to be useful to me though. All right, last chance. Can we see a Dodger? Riley Wendell and Stephen Kwan. Last combo of the day. Three, two, one. Dodger. <sighs> Francisco Lindor. 2021 Mets year. Not his best Mets card anymore. Um, but sorry to you Mets teams out there. If, if you're watching this Super Pat the Boss, don't know if you need him, but that's a good Mets card. And with that, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Unfortunately, no significant upgrades. We couldn't get a Team Sig. Uh, but we did see a few interesting cards and we have a lot of Dodgers now for special training material So if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below hit share and subscribe Let me know what you think about the historic players again I personally think Comptos could have done a, a better job on them But I know a lot of people are really happy now that they have uh, Supreme cards for their team again So let me know what you think in the comments section with all that said go ahead and check out the description box down below for other MLB 9 innings youtubers that make MLB 9 innings content I know they would appreciate your support and I know you guys would enjoy their content also, check out my social media links to Instagram, Reddit, and Discord, also listed in the description box down below. Feel free to hang out with me there anytime you please. And that's going to do it for me today, guys. Have a great rest of your guys' day. God bless you guys. Jesus loves you. I'll see you all in the next video.